first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this compound interest lesson we are going to find an interest that is based on yearly interest half yearly interest and also quarterly interest right so don't forget to watch all my previous two lesson because previous two lesson is most important where we have learned half yearly compounded half yearly separately and compounded quarterly separately so for solving a question in this lesson you need to buy at a formula that is compounded half yearly formula and also you need to buy at a quarterly formula right so friends the difference between both the previous lesson and this lesson is listen carefully in the previous lesson where the principle is given rate of interest is given time duration is also given and at the last you can see where the question that is asked based on compounded half yearly and what we done is uh, we divide the rate of interest by 2 and we divide the months in terms of 6 months and 6 months and we found the interest similarly in the previous lesson where you can see principal is given time duration given rate of interest is also given at the last they ask us to find compound interest quarterly so in that case we divide the months by 3 3 months and the rate of interest by 4 but in this lesson what they used to do is principal is given time duration is given rate of interest is also given but in this lesson they will ask us to find the compound interest but they won't specifically give you an half yearly or quarterly so we need to think whether we can use half yearly year or we need to use a quarterly year so in the previous lesson question itself they used to give half yearly and quarterly but here they won't specify anything they will just say only to find the compound interest so we need to think whether we can use quarterly in this question or awfully in this question right for example i have taken two numbers that is one time duration is 27 months and the second example where the time duration is 30 months and the rate of interest is 20 percentage per annum so first of all listen carefully here the time example i'm saying right here the time duration they have given is 30 months and the rate of interest is 20 percentage per annum and they're asking us to find the compound interest right if they have given like that this 30 months 30 months so friends listen carefully that how i am going to split this 30 months right first of all this 30 months can be split into one year because one year will be 12 months another one year again 12 months 12 plus 12 will be 24 given time duration is 30 months so one year 12 months one year 12 months remaining will be six months if it is six months whether it is half yearly or quarterly so it is half yearly right so remaining will be six months so first year we know the rate of interest is 20 percentage second year we know the rate of interest is 20 percentage because of six months it is based upon half yearly in terms of half yearly what we used to do we divide the rate of interest by two so here it is 10 percentage so friends in order to use a traditional method if the time duration is 30 months first of all you need to find what is 20 percentage of the principal then again add the interest with the principal for the next year you need to find what is 20 percentage again add the interest with the principal at the last you need to use 10 percentage got it how i split this 30 months can be split into one year that is 20 percentage another one year 20 percentage so totally 24 months but remaining will be six months so six months is half yearly or quarterly it is half yearly so six months of six months where half yearly rate of interest should be divided by two so 10 20 percentage divided by two resultant will be 10 percentage so this is the method which we use in a traditional way if you want to form a method right listen here friends in the formula method you know this 30 months can be written as two and a half years right because two and a half years 30 months both are same listen here for the two year i can write a formula as a equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 power n so this is the formula for two years so remaining we have half year so half a year is an half yearly so use of half yearly formula here that is 1 plus r by 2 divided by 100 power 2 n so this is the formula that we need to use in this case friends got it listen here it's a traditional method and this is the formula method in the formula method where a equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 power n so this is the formula for two years because of remaining half year we have used an half yearly formula that is 1 plus r by 2 power that is divided by 100 power 2 n so let me move on to the second example which is 27 months now let me move on to a traditional method so 27 months can be split in terms of one year 12 months another one year 12 months 
so 12 plus 12 will be 24 remaining three months is remaining where the three months is half a year quarterly so three months is quarterly so one year they have given 20 percentage similarly in one year 20 percentage but quarterly in case of quarterly we divide the rate of interest by four when you divide the rate of interest by four it becomes five percent percentage so friends while using a traditional method first of all find 20 percentage of the principal add the interest with the principal again 20 percentage finally you need to calculate five percentage so friends can you able to see the difference between both the questions so here the last remaining months are six months so we divide the rate of interest by two because of half early but in this case the remaining is three months because of quarterly we divide the rate of interest by four which is five percentage so formula method so in the formula method so a is equals to listen here 27 months so 27 months can be written as 2 year to 1 by 4 year got it so 2 1 by 4 because 2 year will be 24 months 1 by 4 will be quarterly which denote 3 months so totally 27 months so this 27 months can be written as 2 1 by 4 years first of all for 2 year you can use this a equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 power n and for the remaining 1 by 4 which is quarterly use the quarterly formula that is r by 4 divided by 100 power 4 n so friends i hope you understand the concept clearly so let me move on to two questions so once you watch both the question you will definitely get an idea how to solve a question that is based on this 30 months and 27 months without giving any half early and quarterly question number one a sum of rupees 10,000 was deposited in a bank for a period of 27 months at a rate of 20 percentage per annum on compound interest. So what will be the amount received? So friends listen the question carefully what all the data they have given us principal is given which is rupees 10,000 because 10,000 is deposited so we can say that 10,000 will be the principal and uh, the rate of interest is also given which is 20 percentage per annum and look at the time duration where the time duration is 27 months so our target to find what is the total amount received so in this question they have not that specifically mentioned that half early or quarterly so we need to think whether we should apply half early or quarterly here listen here here the given months is 27 months just now in the basics i have told you uh, initial stage of the video where 27 months should be split in terms of one year because one year will be 12 months again one year which is 12 months 24 months total will be 24 months remaining will be three months which is quarterly so we can say that one year the given percentage is 20 percentage next to one year again the given percentage is 20 percentage for the last three months where three months denotes quarterly if it is a quarterly we usually divide the rate of interest by four so when you divide the rate of interest by four which is five percentage so finally by using a traditional method how we need to calculate is 20 percentage first year second year 20 percentage and the last three months will be five percentage got it so let me move on to the traditional method now so traditional method 20 percentage that is 20 divided by 100 into where the principal is 10,000. So while calculating this we can cancel 0, 0. Similarly we can cancel 0, 0. So 100 into 20 will be 2,000. So finally for the first year the interest will be 2,000. Second year so 10,000 plus 2,000 will be 12,000. So 20 by 100 into 12,000 is equals to 0, 0, 0, 0, 12, 2 are 24. So 2,400 will be the second year interest listen carefully for the last three months so this is first year and this will be second year and for the last three months right we know the percentage will be five percentage so five divided by 100 into so 12,000 2400 will be 14,400 so we can cancel zero zero here so this becomes five fours at 20 22 reminder two so 720 so finally first year 2000 will be the compound interest second year 2400 will be the interest and for the last three months 720 will be the interest so let me add all the values zero two one then 5 so 5120 will be the total compound interest for 27 months but our target to find what will be the total amount received so the meaning of total amount is principal and also interest right we already know principal is 10,000 and the interest is 5,120 so the total amount received will be 15,120 
so 15,120 will be the total amount received after 27 months right so let me solve this question by using a formula method also so by using a formula listen carefully here the given is 27 months right so 27 months can be written as 2 1 by 4 years so got it why because 2 year will be 24 months 1 by 4 will be 3 months so 24 plus 3 will be 27 months so this 27 months can be written as 2 1 by 4 years so look at the formula carefully so a equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 power n so this is the formula for 2 years and for 1 by 4 year where 1 by 4 is quarterly so here write the quarterly formula that is r by 4 divided by 100 power 4 so friends got it so this is for 2 year and this is for 1 by 4th of the year got it so let me substitute all the values so p is equal to 10,000 then 1 plus r by 100 where r will be 20 so 20 by 100 so 20 by 100 that is 120 120 by 100 right so year n will be number of years will be 2 and second expression which is quarterly so 1 plus r by 4 so r by 4 20 by 4 will be 5 so 1 plus 5 by 100 which can be written as 105 by 100 right so finally uh, 120 by 100 power square so this can be written as 120 into 120 by 100 okay so friends got it 120 by 100 square so i have written 2 times 120 by 100 120 by 100 so here quarterly 105 by 100 so let me cancel all the values 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 and we can cancel 0 and 0 here similarly we can cancel 0 so all the denominator part get cancelled right so a is equal to 12 into 12 into 105 so this can be written as 144 into 105 so 144 this 105 can be written as 100 plus 5 so 144 into 100 so 14400 144 into 5 so 144 into 5 will be 720 so 720 so 0 2 1 5 1 so finally by using a formula method the total amount received after 27 months which is 2 1 by 4 years is 15,120 so by using a traditional method and also by using a formula method we got the same answer that is 15,120 question number 2 so what will be the total amount received for sum of rupees 20,000 for the period of 30 months at the rate of 8 percentage per annum on compound interest so listen carefully what are all the data they have given as principal is given which is 20,000 and our rate of interest is given 8 percentage per annum and the time duration will be 30 months so they didn't specifically mention that whether we need to find the interest compounded halfly or quarterly right we need to uh, think and we need to split the given months listen carefully here they have given months as 30 months so this 30 months can be written as one year 12 months another one year 12 months remaining will be six months where six months is called as half failing so one year the given percentage will be eight percentage again for the next year eight percentage but because of half failing we actually used to divide the rate of interest by two so eight divided by two will be four percentage so finally eight percentage for the first year second year eight percentage and for the last six months it will be four percentage right so let me follow this in a traditional method we can solve a question by traditional method then we can move on to the formula method so 8 percentage which is 8 divided by 100 and the given principle is 20,000 so resultant will be 0 0 0 0 so 1600 so 1600 will be the first year interest so second year will be 21,600 8 percentage so 8 percentage so 21,600 so similarly we can cancel 0 0 so 8 6 are 48 so reminder will be 4 12 so reminder will be 1 so 16 plus 2 17 right so so 1728 so 1728 will be second year interest so for the last six months we need to calculate half early that is half early which is four percentage so 4 by 100 into so 2000 21600 plus 1728 so 8 then uh, 2 6 and 7 will be 13 so reminder will be 1 so 1 2 3 so 2 3 3 2 8 is equals to better let me do one thing better we can multiply this so 8 4 is 32 so reminder will be 3 
so 4 2s are 8 8 plus 3 will be 11 remainder will be 1 12 12 plus 1 will be 13 so remainder will be 1 12 12 plus 1 will be 13 okay 4 2s are 8 so 9 30 9 3 3 1 2 divided by 100 so 933.12 so finally for the first year the interest is 1600 second year 1728 and the for the last six months that is half fairly we have got the interest 933.12 and listen carefully our target to find what is the total amount received right we need to find the total amount received so what is the meaning of total amount principal plus interest so first of all let me add all the interest so 0.12 so 8 plus 3 will be 11 so remainder will be 1 so 3 plus 2 will be 6 6 sorry 5 5 plus 1 will be 6 so remainder will be 1 so uh, 4261 so 4261.12 will be the total interest but our target to find the total amount so 20,000 plus 4261.12 will be 24,261.12 so the total amount will be 24,261.12 so let me solve this question in a formula method also formula method so you know the formula right the formula is listen carefully so here the given months is 30 months so this 30 months can be written as 2 1 by 2 years so friends got it two and a half years so two years will be 24 months half the year will be six months so total will be 30 months so let me apply the formula so a equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 power n so this is the formula for two years and for half the year we need to use half any formula so half any formula will be 1 plus r by 2 divided by 100 power 2m so let me substitute all the values so here a is equals to p principal will be 20,000 so 20,000 1 plus r by 100 where the rate of interest is 8 so 8 by 100 so 100 into 1 will be 100 so 100 plus 8 will be 108 so 108 divided by 100 so into where number of years will be first 2 years so n is equal to 2 and 1 plus r by 2 where 8 by 2 will be 4 so 4 by 100 can be written as 104 divided by 100 so in this place where instead of n we need to substitute 1 by 2 so 2 1 2 gets cancelled so the numerator will be 1 right so let me uh, leave as it is so finally year square so 108 by 100 square can be written as 108 by 100 two times so finally we can uh, cancel this like so 1 2 3 4 similarly 1 2 3 4 0 can be cancelled so uh, we can cancel this on two table 1 2s are 2 50 times again we can cancel this on two table which is 25 times we can cancel this on two table so 54 right so 54 then i think we can't able to cancel anything so let we cancel this when you cancel 54 that is two times 50 so remaining will be four so point uh, 25 so 25 into three so one times so which is 25 again so reminder will be 15 six times so 2.16 so finally this can be written as 108 into 104 into 2.16 so when you multiply 108 into 104 into 2.16 you will receive the same answer right so uh, for these types of question better use a traditional method because while using a traditional method we got an answer easily without any large multiplication but here you need to multiply 108 into 104 into 2.16 because our target to find what is the total amount received so definitely we need to multiply this right so the previous year previous answer is 24 261.12 right so kindly multiply this and see whether we are getting an answer same answer or not but for these cases better use a traditional method where you can solve a question fastly so friends in this lesson we have learned how to split the given months in terms of halfly or in terms of quarterly so take your books and practice more and more number of questions similar to this pattern so once you practice more number of questions you know by seeing a question whether we can apply the uh, traditional method or by a formula method so thank you so much for watching this video bye